In this video you're gonna see me take these photos and you're gonna learn how to master rain and darkness when doing macro photography. Squarespace is the sponsor of this video, more about them later. So I love macro photography but I live in Sweden so a big part of the year I'm not able to photograph insects or flowers or anything beautiful. But raindrops are pretty beautiful when you photograph them with a macro lens and uh, if you have good lighting it can be really beautiful. And since the sun is not shining today I am using a flash and uh, I'm using this macro lens, the Laowa 60mm on my Sony a7 III. And I'm using a Godox TT685 wireless flash with a plastic lamp dome that I found in a hardware store. This one is made for putting on a light bulb, but it kind of fits my TT685 and it gives beautiful diffusion. Which you really need to take nice photos of water drops. Here it is with the bulb behind and it gives really soft, nice, beautiful light. Normally I would do this kind of photography without a flash, but then you kind of need the sun to be shining to get good light. So today I decided to try this setup to kind of simulate a shining sun. And the nice thing with having a wireless flash like this with a diffuser on it is that you can vary the direction of the light and the distance towards your subject and you can get really nice photos with a nice glow and nice separation between subject and background. The only thing you need to do basically is to try to vary the angle that the, you hold the flash and uh, your angle towards the subject and you can get a lot of different variations of your picture. Uh, with the same subject you can get infinite variations and very cool effects. The best time is to do this when it has just stopped raining, not when it is actually raining. But if you have a good umbrella you can do it even when it is raining. But it is of course a bit more convenient to do it when the rain has stopped but the water drops are still there. I believe that to become the best photographer you could ever become you need to maximize the amount of hours per week you spend practicing and as a consequence of that you need to find ways to do your photography, uh, to do your practice close to home so you don't have to spend too much time traveling or planning. So uh, I think as a consequence of this many people uh, they start practicing the genre of photography that kind of fits their environment. If you live in uh, a beautiful scenery with beautiful landscapes maybe you become a landscape photographer but I live in a place where there aren't that many beautiful landscapes and there aren't really too much street photography opportunities either because I don't live in the city. But I live close to several small forests and I think that is part of the reason why I fell in love with macro photography. And uh, I found more and more ways to practice my art close by and in the winter I have found that taking these water drop photos is kind of my thing. The thing that works for me that I can do uh, any time of year, any time of the day, I can just go out in a nearby forest and I can always find something beautiful to photograph. So uh, I think you should consider this when you try to find what genre of photography you're gonna be doing. Find something that you can practice close by to where you live and you will be able to practice a lot and therefore you will be able to become really good at your photography. I did a lot of experimentation today and I found that the most beautiful results I got when I held the flash either to the side of the water drop or behind it. So I kind of put the water drop between the flash and myself, here you can even see it in the background. And then you get really nice results and I love the way you can kind of see inside this water drop all the small 
uh, particles in there and how the light reflects towards the edge of the water drop. Here's the same uh, subject but with different light and you can see that it changes a lot uh, depending on how you hold the light. So basically just experiment a lot and hold it in many different angles and uh, you will get some cool shots if you try this. This video is sponsored by Squarespace and they are my favorite place to build a website or to buy a domain. It's so easy, just pick a template and they have so many beautiful templates for all kinds of websites. And if you are a photographer and want to build a nice portfolio, they are truly the best place you can ever find. Just pick a template, customize it a bit if you want to, upload your photos and you will be done very quickly. I built my portfolio website in less than 30 minutes and it looks exactly how I want it to look. And they have so many features, you can even have your own web shop if you want to and I think that's beautiful because I plan to maybe start selling some stuff soon. I really do love Squarespace and you can try them for free. And once you discover just how great it is, you can use my code MICHAELWIDEL for a 10% discount. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring, now back to the video. And being able to just walk out my door and to go basically anywhere close by where I live, into a forest or into a garden or into a park. And to be able to find these small worlds with uh, infinite possibilities for subjects, that is one of the main reasons I have fallen in love with macro photography. And the variation throughout the year, being able to capture insects and flowers and plants in the summer and water drops in the fall and ice crystals and uh, snowflakes in the winter and many more things that maybe I haven't even thought of yet. There is so much room for imagination and creativity in macro photography and no two images will ever be the same. Yeah, macro photography, I just love it. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my inspiration newsletter over at mwroll.com. It comes out once a month and it's filled with my best inspiration. Also check out my Instagram if you want to see more of my photos. Thanks for watching, over and out, bye.